see him in person and give him a hug. Oh my god. <laughs> Means a lot. A moment Lucas Borges will forever cherish. The opportunity to thank the trauma surgeon. God, so good. <laughs> thank you. For everything. And countless others who worked so hard to give him a second shot at life. Oh. <laughs> really good. Well, really good. Better than the last time you saw me. To be able to see kind of everyone at you know the different levels of, of care and at, at the different stages of, of my care here. Whew, chills. <laughs> this is not the usual grand rounds um, that we're used to. As a level one trauma center, University of Utah Health regularly reviews medical it's cases kind of to improve the quality of care for not only the system, but the region. And this review was special. Lucas Borges. We don't oftentimes uh, get the chance to interact with or know the story of what's gone on with our patients after they've left the hospital. Was skiing uh, in Utah when all of this happened. 22 years young, a spry skier living in Chicago. Borges was visiting Utah in 2020, downing the slopes at Deer Valley, when he lost control and barreled into a ski lift column. As we were bringing him over from the transport gurney, we noticed that he was pale. Step by step. Completely unresponsive. Every member of his care team reviews and remembers just how grave Lucas's case was. Why is this patient dying right in front of us? For Dr. Innes, the most difficult part of all was when Lucas's parents arrived. <sighs> he had to do what every doctor fears, ask for the dreaded decision on whether to keep going or stop treatment. Lucas's dad looked me in the eye and he said, how can you ask a parent to make this decision? How can we be asked to decide whether to let our son just die? Tear-filled, Dr. Inish shared an experience that had prepared him to know exactly what to say in this moment. I, I took a minute and stopped being a, a trauma surgeon and I was a dad. <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, I know what you're going through. I know where you're at because I've been the dad at the bedside in the ICU watching my son fight for his life. It's not often something that I share. Um, but sometimes it's appropriate to share something that, that personal. Um, and with, with Lucas's dad, it was something that I needed him to know. To see Dr. Ennis talking about his conversation with my parents about like, you know, is, it, is this something Lucas would want? And is this, you know, how can you ask a parent to make that decision and to, to see, you know, okay, let's, let's commit, we'll do our all, we'll fight, and we'll see what happens and we'll make it possible. I mean, <laughs> it's why I'm here and um, I am so, so eternally grateful. The empathy, compassion and gratitude Thank you. felt during this unique Grand Round case review is hard to measure. One of the greatest uh, learning opportunities that we have the privilege to be a part of. Valuable lessons learned and many thanks for a life. It's such an honor, such a privilege to be here and thank you. Lucas gets to keep living. At every point, everything needed to go right. Everything needed to go exactly how it went. For me to be here in the state that I am today, that is only possible with the intense coordination and dedication and compassion and just absolute passion really for what they do. I was actually a nurse. And for what everyone in that room does. You can only thank them and uh, show them that <laughs> this is why they, this is what it's for. For University of Utah Health, I'm Nicole Bowell.